Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, namaste. So right now I am just intentionally setting our space because I'm going to be leading you through a 25 to 30 minute yoga sequence. And I've really been meaning to do this for a while because I've been practicing regularly and I actually just recently got my first job teaching at Dom Dog Yoga Center, which has been such a beautiful blessing. But I also like to practice at home on my own. So first things first, just make your surroundings comfortable, whatever that looks like for you. Tonight um, evening is actually just setting, so I'm going to be doing a slightly more calming yogic practice tonight. And I've got some candles set here, so as you can see, the, sh the sun is going to be shifting pretty quickly behind me. We're working with the natural light and the natural elements. So grab your mat and make sure you have your surroundings ready, maybe some hot tea by your side that you can sip on, or maybe just some water. We're gonna find our sitting bones here and bring our palms up to the sky. We'll be starting with some diaphragmatic breaths. So remember to draw that breath down into the base of your belly as you extend the belly out. And on the exhale, we're gonna draw the belly button toward the spine. So really, really active breathing here for these initial breaths. So take a nice inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. So on this next inhale, let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath. On the exhale, we're going to own together. So last inhale. Uh, deep breaths here. Just paying attention to the rise and fall of your chest, maintaining your awareness and clarity through today's practice. So wherever you're at is just perfect. We are in a moment of convening with ourselves. This is your practice. So anytime you might encounter something that's difficult in the sequence, you can always take a return back to child's pose. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Let's start by doing a couple neck rolls. So take the neck all the way around. We're gonna go two full circles in one direction. Take good care with your neck during this movement. Make sure that your shoulders aren't scrunched up by your head. And then opposite direction. Notice if you're holding any tension from the week. and breathe into that, simply letting it go. And whenever your mind starts to drift, a safe place to return to is simply the breath. So let's come back to center. Go ahead and bring your hands in front, tuck your thumbs in, and we'll begin to rotate the wrists out for one, two, three, and four, and opposite direction, two, three and four and drop the hands back to your lap. We're gonna go ahead and 
discover the three directions of the back. So the first is the cat cow. So we're gonna go from front to back. So let's go ahead and bring the shoulders forward, pull the belly button towards your spine, and then inhale, lift the chin, shoulders back and down. Exhale forward. And inhale, lift. Exhale, round the back. And inhale, lift. Exhale, round the back. And inhale, lift. One more, exhale, round the back. And inhale, lift. And now we'll begin with lateral movement. So inhale, lift the right hand up. Exhale, down to the left. Inhale, left arm lift. Exhale, down to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. As we lift the arms, we're keeping the fingertips wide and separated, gathering energy through this movement. Exhale down, inhale lift, exhale down, inhale lift, exhale down, last one, inhale lift, exhale down, and back to center. Good, okay, let's begin with the spinal twist. So once again, we're gonna inhale to the left, and exhale twist, slight pause as your gaze goes over the opposite shoulder, inhale to the right, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and whenever you feel good, we're gonna head back to center. All right, go ahead and shift it out, shimmy and shake, do whatever you need to do. We're gonna head to tabletop. Okay, so we're gonna begin to lift up this energy just a little bit more, okay? So I'm gonna just move these candles out of my way, otherwise we're gonna be starting a fire up in here, and we definitely don't want that. So move any objects out of your way because you're going to be extending your body, okay? But first, let's go ahead and wiggle from side to side. And we're going to begin with one more round of cat cows. So just make sure that the wrist is placed under your shoulder, knees are right below the hips, and we're going to tuck the toes under. So on the inhale, lift the head. And exhale, pull the belly button up, round the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. One more here. Inhale, lift. And exhale back to neutral. Beautiful. So if you're feeling a little bit warmer, feel free to shed a layer of clothing. I'm going to take the sweater off and toss it to the side. All right. Once again, back in tabletop, we're going to untuck the feet this time. And then on the next inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg. Static hold here. So make sure to bring your awareness to the left hip and make sure the left hip is closed down toward the mat extending the fingertips and elongating the toe. So whether or not you feel more comfortable with your toe flexed or pointed, find your comfort position. We're going to take a nice inhale here and then exhale elbow to knee. Inhale lift, exhale in. Inhale lift, exhale in. Inhale, lift, exhale in, and last one, inhale, lift, on the exhale, hold the elbow to knee, static hold, 
Make sure those front fingertips are open and the chin is untucked for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release the hand and the leg. Shake it out. We're starting to get a little bit warm now, I'm sure. On the next inhale, lift the left arm and the right leg. So once again, clean straight lines. You're actually going to be using your abdominal muscles to help and support this hold as well. Close that right hip down toward the mat and make sure that that back leg isn't extended too high so as to involve the lower back. Take a nice deep inhale here and exhale elbow to knee. Inhale lift. Exhale in. Inhale up. Exhale in. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale in. And last one. Inhale lift. And then exhale. Hold the elbow towards your knee. They don't have to be touching. We're just actively drawing the elbow toward the knee for five, four, three, two, and drop. Beautiful job, how'd that feel? All right, so we're just lifting up our heat, our vibrational energy. Feel free to shift your body back and forth, your hips, whatever feels good to you here. We're gonna take our knees nice and wide and then sit right back into your haunches, reaching the fingertips forward, spread the fingers wide. Here we're elongating the vertebrae and pulling the shoulder blades apart. Couple deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, and inhale lift. We're going to be heading right up into downward dog to start our sequence. So a couple few tenants here in downward dog. Some of the key points are to keep the shoulders away from your ears, chin untucked. Rotate the, the, rotate the hips up toward the ceiling. Good, and make sure to keep your gaze right there between your hands. So I'll show you what I mean by this. So when you lift your hips, you're not gonna move it forward. You're not shifting anywhere else in your body except for your hips. So it's a very simple movement. So watch my hips. You're lifting almost from the bottom of your seat up. Let's go ahead and bring each heel down one at a time toward the mat. Good. All right, static hold here in downward dog. Feeling the effects of the asana. Okay, we're going to head into a flow here, so make sure that you follow your breath and follow along for the first few. And then after that, we can take a few moments and go at our own pace with our own desired flow, and I'll show you what I mean. Good, so on the next inhale, let's go ahead and drop the knees to the mat. Good, so here we are. Exhale, push it back into child's pose. Inhale, lift up into cow. And then exhale, back up to downward dog. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, back into child's pose. Inhale, up for cow. And exhale, back up to downward dog. Second variation. Inhale, bring it forward. Hold the breath down for chaturanga, elbows straight back, hold, drop, inhale up for cobra, exhale back for child pose, and inhale up for downward dog. So of course that's the more intense version. Let's give it one more go. Inhale forward into perfect plank, hold, drop, elbows pointing back, inhale upward, cobra, Exhale, back into child's pose. And inhale, heading back up to downward dog. One more, or a couple more times through your choice. So let's go ahead and take a few moments.
Just make sure that you're guiding through your breath. And you can actually salt and pepper and do one of one, one of the other. So whatever you're feeling. Okay, finish this last sequence and then we're gonna meet each other back up and down, we're done. <sighs> okay, how'd that sequence feel for you? Let's take a moment to reconvene. Good, on the next inhale, lift the left leg. Bend the left knee, right heel comes down to the mat. Fully extend that left leg up and out at an angle and pulse up at an angle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left foot comes back down to the mat. Inhale, right leg lift. Bend the right knee, left heel comes down. Extend the right leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one right foot comes down. We're gonna softly bend our knees and walk to the front of the mat. So take your time coming up, especially if you have low blood pressure like me. <sighs> All right, so we are sufficiently warmed up, right? So that was kind of our warm up. Of course, there's a little bit of uh, good movement interdispersed in there. Let's step to the front of the mat. We're gonna begin in Samastiti. So samasthiti is where your toes are touching and there's a slight space between your heels. Shoulders are back and down, chin is parallel to the floor. Palms wide open, holding energy, gathering energy. This is honestly one of my favorite yogic positions and it's, it's gotta be underrated because it's just, it's deceivingly simple. So let's just take a couple breaths here, reconvene. So today we'll um, do a sun salutation, even though it is evening. We'll just do one variation so I can show you um, the usual sun salutation that I do. All right, on the next inhale, lift the arms and exhale prayer. Inhale, arms all the way up and back, hips neutral. Exhale, forward fold, soft bend in the knees. Inhale, left leg comes back to the top of the foot in the knee. Exhale, right leg comes back, hold the breath down for knees, chest, chin, Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, up for Cobra. Exhale, back for Mountain. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, all the way up and back. And exhale, prayer back into Samastiti. Reconvene, take a nice deep breath. Right side, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms all the way up and back. Exhale, forward fold, soft bend in the knees. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back into plank. Hold the breath down with knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, up for cobra. Exhale, back to mountain. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, left leg forward. Inhale, all the way up and back. And exhale, prayer. Samastihiti. Okay, sun salutation. Let's begin with the sequence. All right, so first things first, we're gonna place our feet hip width apart and inhale, lift the arms as you lift the heels, hold. And sorry that my whole camera won't pick up my entire body. We're keeping the palms up in the sky facing toward one another. Hips are neutral, 
Keep your focus right there in the center of your body, okay? Right around the region of the belly button. That's your balance for five, four, three, breathe, two, and one. Lower the arms, good. Inhale, lift both arms, heels stay on the ground. Exhale, dip to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, arms come back, hips neutral, gaze toward the ceiling. Couple breaths here. Inhale, lift. And forward fold right where we are. So let's keep the spine straight on this forward fold. We're carving the belly button in. If that means that you can only reach down to your thigh or to your shins, then that's perfectly fine. But I'd like us to consider keeping our spines as straight as possible while we carve the belly button up and in. So something I do in my practice is I'm very, very focused on the spinal movements, protecting the lower back in particular. And a lot of times in yoga, people will curl a little bit too much or overextend. So please listen to your body and wherever it's at is perfect. Okay, let's inhale, lift, and reconvene. Let's step into the front of the mat. So I'll go ahead and start on this side so I can face that way and you'll see what I mean. Samasthiti, palms facing outward. Let's begin with a triangle pose. All right, inhale, left leg back. For triangle, we're gonna be keeping our hips open to the front. Inhale, lift both arms. Shift, right arm comes down, left arm lift. Gaze comes up toward the fingertips in the sky. Focus on this left hip right here. Peel that hip up toward the ceiling. We want a nice clean front. For five, four, three, two, one, and inhale, lift. We're gonna go ahead and switch our feet to the opposite direction. So right foot comes in, left foot goes out. Once again, hips are facing front. Inhale, lift both arms. Exhale, shift forward. Left palm comes down on the inside of the right shin. Right arm lift. Gazing up toward the fingertips. For five, four. Oops, sorry if my camera died on that last triangle side. We're going to go for a wide legged forward fold. So take the legs as wide as you can, slightly point the toes in, and inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, forward fold. Gaze comes back between the legs. Soft bend in the knees. Good. Let's enjoy a couple more breaths here. And then inhale, lift. <sighs> Stepping back to top to the center. I'd like to take us to a version of warrior. So let's go for warrior two today. I'm gonna once again start over here. Warrior two, let's begin in Samasthiti. Toes touching, slight space between the heels. On the next inhale, let's take the left leg back one and a half leg wide. So nice wide stance on us. This back leg is going to be facing forward, while the right foot's going to be facing this way, so almost perpendicular. And so with warrior two, we're actually going to keep those hips open just as we did in triangle. So it's a very easy transition from triangle to warrior two with regard to placement, hip placement, 
So we're going to go ahead and inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, bend that knee forward. A couple key items of interest. We want to take a glance at our kneecap and make sure that it's pointing forward. Okay, so make sure it's not splaying out to the left or the right. And that kinetic energy is going to be coming through the rooted heel. So you can actually lift that toe in front. Arms on top are in a clean straight line. Gaze comes over the front fingertips. And hold. Inhale, take the right arm up and back. And then exhale, bring the right arm down to the right thigh. Inhale, lift the left arm up and over the head. Now, if you'd like here, you can take a bind by taking the left arm down, and then we're going to drop it closer toward our thigh. Right arm comes under and up for a bind. We're going to open the top shoulder, gaze comes up toward the ceiling. For five, four, three, two, and inhale, release. Good. That little second part was pretty intense, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring that foot to the left, right foot in. And again, just doing what we can do, right? That's the important part. This is your practice, not mine. I'm right here practicing with you, but whatever movement you can do is, is absolutely perfect. Just don't forget that. My body's not going to bend like yours, and yours isn't going to bend like mine. So... All right, left foot out, right foot in. Inhale, lift both arms. And then exhale, bend that front knee. Again, make sure that the knee is right below, or sorry, the knee is right above the heel. Gaze over the front fingertips. Right hip open and peel back. So in yoga, every part of the body has to be thought of so that we're fully engaged. We're fully maintaining our awareness through the positions of these asanas. Inhale, lift the left arm, drop the right. Peaceful warrior. And then left arm comes down to the left heel, or the left thigh. Inhale, lift the right arm. Gay, or arm comes over the head. And if you'd like, we can come on down closer to the thigh. Right arm comes down and across the lower back. Left arm up to reach. Right arm peeled up toward the ceiling. Right shoulder, rather. I'm fumbling my words today. That's okay. We're all hanging out together. For five, four, three, Two. and inhale lift release the hands one more wide-legged forward fold so inhale lift both arms and then exhale forward fold Woo. soft bend in the knees so there's so much that we could do there's so many different sequences that I want to bring you all through but in the interest of time Let's come down to Malasana. So we're going to inch those feet in and then slowly come down. So just as if a child is sitting and playing with their friends, we're going to put our seat back and down, dig the heels in. You can slightly lift the toes to make sure that your positioning is right. Elbows come on the inside of the thighs, palms together in prayer. We'll take a, moment, a couple moments here. So here you can take a moment to come into crow if you'd like, or modify crow, or you continue you continue in malasana. I haven't done crow in a while, so I'm going to bring go ahead and bring the palms forward. Now shifting forward, you can bring your back feet up one at a time, and hold. Okay, let's release that. <laughs> 
Take the legs forward. We're going to assume an active position here. So this also is deceivingly simple. We're going to extend the legs out. Feet are in an L-shaped position. Hands just resting here on our thighs, shoulders back and down. Deep breath here. Inhale, lift the right knee. Exhale, left arm comes on the outside of the right leg and gaze comes over the right shoulder, hold. Feel free to close your eyes. Take your attention to your left foot and make sure that it's still flexed in an L shape. And then gently release, come back to front. Take good care coming out of that spinal twist. Once again, extend the right leg in front. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, twist. Right arm on the outside of the left thigh. Right foot is flexed in the L shape. Gaze over the left shoulder. All right, one more breath here. And release. Gentle release coming back to center. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Inhale, bring the right leg up on the inner crook of your legs. Raise the arms. And then exhale, forward fold. Now, if you'd like to try a more challenging version of this stretch, you can bring the right leg over the left and gently place it up near the groin area. Inhale, lift the right arm. Exhale, right arm comes around to grab the toes. Inhale, left arm. And then exhale, forward fold. Now, if you can't reach the bottom of the foot, reaching for the shin is absolutely perfect. Again, you can do this more difficult version or the first version. We're going to hold for a moment. Gaze comes right over the top of that toe. Inhale, release the hands. Extend the right leg out and shake it out. All right, opposite side. Once again, left foot comes on the inside of the groin, the inside of the right leg. Inhale, lift both arms up. And then exhale, forward fold. Now, in doing any exercise or any asana with both sides, it really helps you to bring awareness on maybe areas of your body that feel tighter than other areas, maybe areas that are holding tension. For me, I have tendinopathy in this leg, so it really kind of brings in a tightness. And the reason I'm saying this is you should just listen to your body and only go so far as your body allows. So we don't want to overextend just to get that stretch and then end up injuring ourselves. All right, inhale, come up, release. And let's head in for a butterfly stretch. So let's go ahead and flutter those knees, grabbing the top of the toes. <sighs> Inhale here. And then exhale, forward fold. Bringing the elbows back to softly press the inner thighs against the mat. Keeping a straight spine.
beautiful. Inhale, lift. We just have a few more asanas. Let's head to our tummies. And first things first, we're just going to go ahead and let our bodies relax into the mat as we let our spines acclimate to this position. So take a moment here. Rock back and forth if you need to. Spinal work should be respected. Any spinal stretches should be well thought out and well considered. So here we are in our prone position. Let's rest the chin gently on the mat. Good, and let's go ahead and fold our back legs up. We're gonna draw our hands back and around to grab the tops of the feet. We're just gonna stay here today in a gentle stretch for our quadriceps. So holding here. If you did want to deepen this stretch, you can inhale, lift the chest, the chin, the thighs, and peel the shoulders back and together. But I'm feeling in a very gentle mood today, so I'm going to stay right down here for five, four, three, two, and one, once again, dropping the legs down. We're gonna head in for a Shalabhasana or Locust Pose, so bring the palms up toward the sky as they're heading back. On the next inhale, lift the chest, the chin, the arms, the palms, and the legs. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one, release. We're gonna head back for a child's pose. And anytime you're counteracting spinal work, take good care coming back into this child's pose, okay? So just take your time, head back into your haunches and reach those fingertips forward. Spread the fingers wide. Breathe into that stretch as your shoulder blades Pull apart. Let's walk the fingertips all the way to the left, elongating the right side. And then walk the fingertips all the way to the right, elongating the left side. Good, back to center. On the next inhale, let's come up. And we're gonna close our sequence up with some supine work. We're just gonna go for one or two moves here and then ease ourselves out gently into the night. So let's go ahead and draw those knees in toward the chest. And gently rock back and forth, giving your spine a massage if that feels good to you. Good. I hope you're feeling a little more relaxed just to get a little movement in at the end of the day or maybe even the morning as you enter into the day. All right, let's bring those legs up. We're going to keep the feet flexed in a 40 or a 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and wedge our hands under our glutes so we have a little bit of balance here. We're going to find our sweet spot. Exhale, lower the legs. As soon as your back starts to arch, that's going to be your sweet spot. Stop and keep the back flat against the mat. Actively pull the belly button down and up towards your spine and hold. I want you to challenge yourself on this. Bring your, bring your heels down one more quarter of an inch, okay, for 10. Breathe, eight, seven, Six, drop them further down. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the knees in once again towards your chest and gently rock back and forth. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and lower the heels. Bring the right leg over the left in a figure four. We're going to thread that needle through. Grab the back of the left thigh and pull towards you. 
So you can use your right elbow to kick that right leg forward a little bit more if you want a deeper stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, that stretch feels so good on the outer thigh. We're gonna switch legs, left leg over the right, and then pull that right thigh towards you. For five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, release the legs, and then feel free to rock back and forth gently. So you can spend some time here in Shavasana lying down if you'd like, but I think today, let's go ahead and take an inhale and come back up to a seated position so we can close out with our breaths. So this is kind of more of a relax, a relaxing active yoga sequence. So up to you if you wanna spend a few moments in Shavasana, feel free to pause the video. Let's bring our palms up toward the ceiling. So a couple normal breaths here. And then once again, let's close out with three diaphragmatic breaths. Starting with a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Final breath, inhale abundance. And exhale, limiting beliefs. On the next exhale, own. Uh, joining me today for today's sequence. Namaste and happy vlogmas.